watch you guys got another video here for you got another error code fix it video here for you so when you're going to install uh, windows and you're getting this error code here as you can see here the media driver your computer needs is missing and you get that error code no device drivers were found on the system so you can see basically that is the error code that you're going to receive when you go to install your version of windows 10 so i'm going to take you through a couple of things that you can try to try to resolve uh, this issue so this one is a pretty simple one to resolve the first things you want to try is to replace the usb flash drive that you are using to another usb flash drive because that could be corrupted the same thing goes with a dvd disc or you're using something like that you may want to uh, rewrite a new disc at a slower speed and make sure that that is working correctly otherwise you could run into problems Best thing to do is head over to the Microsoft website and download their media creation tool and basically install this onto your system like so. And once you've got this down, this will download the latest ISO from Microsoft website. So the ISO image that you was using could be corrupted and you need to rewrite a new one. So whether it be a DVD or a USB flash drive, you can follow uh, this process. Very simple and easy to do. By doing this, you'll know that the flash drive is in good working order because it's new and also the media that you've downloaded is the very latest and it should be in good working order and no corruption on that ISO that you've downloaded. So choose your USB flash drive and it will take care of all the formatting and basically get it ready for you. And you should see it listed here, your USB flash drive, click next and it should then prepare and get things ready for you. Next up, try plugging the USB flash drive into the back ports of your motherboard instead of the top USB ports on the case. Another thing you can do is plug it into a USB 2.0 port and see if that works. You can also, when it gets to that screen with the error code, you can unplug the USB flash drive and plug it into another USB port and try that to see whether that actually resolves the problem. Sometimes it can do. So going into the BIOS now, we're going to have a look inside here. This is another place that you can check out to make sure everything is okay and all the settings are correct. You need to make sure that these are set exactly right. Otherwise, you can end up running into difficulties or problems. Also, what you want to check here is make sure that you're using the correct settings inside your BIOS. So if you're using UEFI or you're running legacy mode, you might run into issues. So go into advanced options here and go up to the main menu here and go along the tabs and look for advanced. You should then see inside advanced here, when we click on this, you will see options available to you to check your USB configuration. You can check that to make sure they're not disabled. You can also check uh, the boot options here. Um, inside here, you can check the boot options to make sure that your CSM compatibility support uh, module Make sure that's disabled here. That is for uh, our legacy. We don't want to use legacy on here. We're using uh, UEFI. If you're using GPT, that should be fine. But if you're using MBR, then you might want to put this into legacy mode and stuff like that. Also, it's always a good thing to start with a nice fresh install on your drive. So make sure the drive is fully formatted. There's no partitions on there and it's completely clean and free of any sort of partitions and let installation go you can see here the notice due to microsoft secure boot regulations ensure the microsoft signed uefi driver is uh, contained in the plugged in pci express based storages including m.2 ssds and stuff like that before you launch uh, csm otherwise you would end up with that error code that you see here so make sure that is disabled if it is enabled you could run into issues also, what you want to do here is go back into advanced mode here and you can also go into the advanced area again and again, make sure you're checking uh, the SATA, make sure all the SATAs are being recognized and what you're plugged into if you're using an SSD or maybe you're using a hard drive or something like that, make sure you're selected on the right one. You can see here AHCI. If you're running an older system, you may see IDE in there as well. And you can also check to make sure that your settings are right here. If you don't know what they are, then maybe hit uh, back to factory defaults to make sure everything is okay. See if your drives are being recognized on here. You should see them recognized inside the BIOS. If not, 
then maybe that drive is faulty and you need to replace it. Secure boot, again, you can turn this off uh, if you wish temporarily to make sure it's working okay. You can see we've got uh, other OS types here as other. You can put this to Windows 10 to make sure that is working correctly. If you follow all those steps, you should be back up and running and be able to install this very quick and easy. Now, if you've just built the PC, you may want to check to make sure the hard drives have got power running to them and they've also got the SATA cables into them to make sure they are recognized by the computer. Again, if you have just built the PC, you might want to check for the latest BIOS updates. With new motherboards, they generally release uh, BIOS updates uh, for that motherboard quite quickly. So you may see a bunch of BIOS updates being released and that can resolve a lot of problems as well. So always check uh, for BIOS updates for very new hardware. If you've got many different types of hard drives on your system, maybe unplug all of those and just leave the Windows drive that you want to install Windows on. And hopefully that will uh, resolve your issue. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can resolve a media driver your computer needs is missing. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.